Not right now. <laughs> So as the kiln heats up, the wood ash in the atmosphere create a glaze when it gets hot enough, and the glaze begins to run. So depending on how the kiln is stacked, it may or may not glue itself to another piece if it's touching it, so you have to put resists in between everything, keeping the things from sticking without scarring your pot too bad. Yeah, we like to call them cat turds. <laughs> But that's, you can call them hot dogs. That's well. much more descriptive. Bruce Kitts. Hi, Bruce. Uh, resident <laughs> artist at the Mendocino Art Center. Uh, yeah, so I just started working a little loose. Um, a lot of my forms and textures are reminiscent of rock striations, southwest rock formations, and uh, the hoodoos down in like the Moab area. Um, just really thinking about these uh, almost a weird kind of like human-made geology. I, I was doing a lot of this work uh, previously um, and again that's really where that striation texture comes in and it works pretty well in other atmospheric firings uh, but with this kiln in particular and wood fire um, it's nice to have a little bit of area on the piece to let the ash drip down and really let the the wood do its thing. Um, this you know, all wood kilns seem to have a, their own kind of characteristic, uh, and because of the the long duration of this firing, you get a really heavy ash buildup. Uh, so, so basically, what's happening in the wood fire kiln is it gets so hot in the kiln that the ash in the atmosphere it melts the ash. So the ash it it creates a glaze. Uh, so. Really, you don't even have to glaze your work in a wood fire. As long as you fire it long enough, you'll get um, just a natural surface and glaze from the from the wood. And once we candle it, that's called candling. Um, and then what we'll do, once it starts to get a little warm after a few days, we'll start going through the door. So this will all be bricked up with a little opening. Usually six hour shifts. And then so we'll just 24 seven soak, you know, and it's a different schedule depending on.
that I really enjoy about this medium, uh, just the community, the community aspect about it. And that's the, with the wood fire, it's, it's even more. It, the wood fire is, because you have to soak 24 seven, you have to have a crew, it's really community oriented. Um, but ceramics in general seems to just be a really sharing um, community. Uh, you know, there's a few ceramic artists out there that will hold some secrets, but for the most part, you know, you can go up and say, hey, what's, you know, how do you make this glaze or how do you do this? And everyone's really eager to share what they're doing uh, for the most part. Uh, you know, it's, uh, ceramics goes very, very deep in our history of being civilized beings. Um, I think it really helped us get to where we are now, um, being civil, you know, and being able to, you know, store store our food and store our water um, and really helped us uh, just evolve to where we are at now um, in our in the social realm and just human behavior. Uh, so I don't know if it's uh, I don't know if it's community oriented people come together and they're drawn to ceramics or the ceramics makes people you know become more community drawn, but somewhere there's you know regardless of what's happening there, it's a lot of community.